Dude. I'm not Stepa. Murder. I'm the miracle gangster. Murder. Still like it like that. <laughs> Cold-blooded murders ah uh, with an iron heart. Dirty come science ah uh, yeah. See the guns and ammunition. It was the devil's invention. And so are the other things that you guys use. Boy, Pilgrim, you sure are bad. I'm not going to hit you. I'm not going to hit you. Rock's going to hit you. <laughs> he has a lot of friends and family in Miami. He does not like you, Richard Dawkins. You're not a nice guy, man. You and Antoine and, you know, I, Chris, uh, um, Chris, um, uh, wow. Wow. It's, there, there has to be a moral compass, doesn't there? Wasn't Casper Spoyne an actual human being and not a ghost? Um, do you have a ghost of a chance of surviving this? If the surveillance says that he was a human being and he no longer is a living human being because you are not a living human being. I, how smart is that? I don't know. I, now, if there is a God, what will happen? Since there's no God, um, I don't understand. I, I'm having trouble following your ethics. You too, Richard, since... Uh, and and there's a couple of you ever see uh, Batman with Adam West and uh, was it Burgess Meredith that played quack 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 well Mark Anthony and uh, a couple of his friends have a message for you me <laughs> tierra I don't know the words I wish I knew the words but they also would tell you this too con los años <laughs> yeah, with what years we have left. We will do the best by those people as we will, and we will try to be as reasonable as we can with all those crazy people and all those crazy religious superstitious zealots. We will try to make them more rational, little, rational people that have faith based on reality. There is no faith, faith based on reality. A good science. We will teach them about good science, Richard. Good science. Well, they have a messiah. And they love him. Uh, Richard Netanyahu says there are a bunch of elitist racists that weren't going to accept Ralph as the messiah because he just wasn't quite Jew enough. He says, you got Jewed. <laughs> By the oldest fashioned Jew fuck in the whole world. That's the ones who rendered unto Caesar what is Caesar's. They all took what Caesar wanted. They're all rockets. <laughs> I'm not. Yahoo! <laughs> well, because, uh, you know, uh, he's an algae, uh, 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 man, uh, Martin Lawrence is like, dude, I've been waiting to talk all my, he is, he just says, bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do, when Sheriff John Brown come for you, it's a brown sheriff, <laughs> we don't have a black president, we have a brown president, and we believe he must be more truthful, and Denzel Washington says, you need to get your John Brown hind parts, <laughs> out of our pocketbooks <laughs> and your hands out of our pockets <laughs> and stop how long shall they kill our prophets while we stand aside and look some say it's just a part of it you got to fulfill the book and he said all right <laughs> Denzel slow down <laughs> Denzel said it will be you sitting on the chain gang you can sing chain you sing Sam Cook or you can sing Al Green or the BTs. Either way, it's a good song. I can think of younger days when living for my life was everything a man could want to do. We could never see tomorrow. No, we was never told about no sorrow. Lord, help deliver us. From what we are about to receive, an ass whooping that we never see. We would go and lay him out, he was too dumb. It was like beating a child with a, a finger or a thumb. Bam, 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 he's so innocent, he's so dumb. What a child is this who lay to rest? Oh, Mary's left her to sleep. Uh, shepherds watch, so shepherds guard 
and angels sing. Ah! Is Brian Johnson a good shepherd? Dude, tell me he's a good shepherd, he's going to hit you. He's going hard. Oh, never mind. Go ahead. He said no. I know you've been waiting to hit Richard Dawkins. Go ahead. Hit him. Hit him, too. Yeah. I don't know where LeVay's at, man. He's chicken. There ain't nobody here but his chickens. See, guys, though? I don't know. Where? I, hey, y'all, it's under surveillance. They know where he's at. I don't know where he's at. I don't care. Just as long as they take him and cuff him and stuff him, and they come in and think, oh, what you going to do when Sheriff John Brown come for you? Close my eyes. Only for, we know, Richard, I do this for your benefit. <laughs> you hate this kind of stuff. It's so uncouth and so, so beneath people to dress like this. That's why they said, no, man, find your stocking cap. I could wear my Boise State bas baseball cap backwards. Now, it doesn't look right with the, what you're going to be wearing, man. And the, and the song motif. We in Florida. Florida got country. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they do, too. They got country. They got country down in Florida. Uh-huh. Yeah, they do. Dude. <laughs> How'd it go? Over coffee, just the smoke one. <laughs> My girl caught me by surprise without a warning. She said, honey, you talk in your sleep. And then he began to weep. And he said, baby, tell me, tell me truly, who's Ralphie? Oh, Ralphie, what's this hold you got on me? <laughs> in my dreams and in my sins. <laughs> You know you shouldn't be there, oh Ralphie. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mark. I I have that effect on women when I when I get under their skin and shit like that. It's like I can't get rid of this crazy man. He's in my head. He's in my heart. He's in my soul. It'll be my prayers when I grow. I am her lover and her I'm best friend. I'm in her soul. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Fashion puts. I don't it be so much fashion since I. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's funny. That song's about me. I thought it was about you. You pass off to experience friends. What's wrong with my What's wrong with my fashion sense? What's wrong with my fashion sense, guys? What's wrong with this? Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with my fashion sense. Are uh, you seen Jennifer walking around with Castro Smart in some of those publications? Who would you rather see her walking around with? A guy wearing these little. Fashion boots shoved into a little bit. Or is somebody who looks like this. So she's doing it from the block. Who is she supposed to go walking around with? Someone who looks like me or someone who looks like him? Everybody. Brooklyn. Bronx. Especially Bronx. Sorry, Dad. The Bronx. Brooklyn. All right. Queens. Yonkers. All right. Mount Vernon. Who do you all want to see your little queen of, of, of the island walking around with? That little get smart dude or me? Who's got better fashion sense for New York? Real New York. Now we're not talking New York going to put a, put on a show. We're talking about New York who you hang out with, you know. These are the people in your neighborhood, in your neighborhood, in your neighborhood. Hey, Ralph, how you doing? Not bad, man. How you feeling? It's kind of cold today. It's all right. Why you got the sunglasses on? It's a reflection off that concrete shit. kind of hurts my eyes and shit. Ain't that fucked up? And plus, you know, I use it. All right. That's crazy. You know, they was using the computers to influence you and make you feel that shit fucks me up. Especially someone like me, man. I have very strong, uh, well, they use my family to fuck up the computers and fuck up everybody. That's pretty fucked up. I actually took my family members and my children and stuck them up to, yeah, but it's, 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 it's very, it's far, it's far I'm good. Yeah, we have to get rid of all those irrational people in Florida and Cuba and Jamaica and the Virgin Islands. Oh, what? They, they've become irrational. And, and those Haitians, oh my God. Talk about the most irrational beings on the state of the planet. They think they have voodoo connections to everybody. Well, they've proven it with prayer groups that it actually does work. You know that, you sorry fucking mook. Well, it doesn't have anything to do with anything that these people do that lines up with science. It's just sheer luck. Okay, but a geologist who pulls rocks out of a mountain that throws off our weather patterns and makes our weather patterns rational, and then you have to get harps to tell the clouds what to do instead of the clouds knowing naturally what to do because we didn't fuck up the planet. Well, where's the science that do it? It's sheer luck. You're a fucking asshole and you're an idiot. You're pulling all the stuff the planet needs out of it. It's like, let's pull all the iron out of your blood, Richard, and see how well you do.
know. I, I, I'm trying to figure this out. Since it has the same DNA and works on the similar kind of components that a human body does, if we pull the iron out of the blood, if we pull the blood out of the body, how well is it going to function, Richard? I don't know. Where's the science in this? I'm having trouble following your intelligence, your reason, and, and, and how superstitious these MOOCs are. In, in, in Haiti and in, in across the American plains. And I, that crazy man that Ralph talked to yesterday at Fiesta Foods, he just must be stupid. <laughs> you mean the shaman that I met? <laughs> yeah, the one that was intelligent and could tell me math equations that go off the charts, <laughs> that laughed about the Manhattan Island joke. <laughs> you own that? How can you own that? I got land in Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Shh, let's pick it up and move it over here. Shh, no one knows we're moving Lake Michigan. <laughs> you own Lake Michigan? No way. <laughs> Where are you going to keep it? I'm going to stay right here and keep it. Okay, I own Lake Michigan. It's my leg. <laughs> How much beans and wampum did you pay for it? <laughs> I've got another Michigan a lake over here. It's called Lake Erie. <laughs> Superior, it said, never gives up or dead when the gales of November came early. Yeah, the big lake they call Gitsugumi. <laughs> Sorry. Those superstitious mooks. We don't go out on that lake during that time of year. Well, why? You die. We're going to do it. We're, why? Because we're going to get a boat full of 26, of iron ore, 26,000 times more than the Edmund Fitzgerald weighed empty. And when we get there, we'll have, yeah, the good shipping crew was a bone to be chewed. Just nothing. Yeah, when nature comes, when nature calls. Thanks, Jack. Thanks. Ah! Ah! Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. Check it out. Good movie. <laughs> this complete moron dork outdoes all the detectives and police and gets Einhorn, who's a woman, a man. Jenny, you're not really a man, are you? You're all a woman, aren't you? It's no. No. You're not Antoine LaVey, are you? No. Please, where's the real Jennifer Lopez? Will she please stand up? Please stand up. Please be the real Jenny. Don't be him. No. You would come back as a woman. I'm just kidding. Oh, God, my wife. You evil bastard. Well, if that's the case, they would just arrest you, and then I'd just have to, well, it's not really her. You would have killed her, so I'd be like, you fucking evil bastard. Do you want to kill yourself now so you'll be over? Not a lot decides it'll all work out in the end. And then what would I do? Um, well, then I'd have to see who, uh, Jay-Z, I'm, I'm sorry, your wife's breaking up with you. <laughs> I'm just kidding around. No, oh, wow, that would be interesting. But, uh, um, no, because in the dream, I held her above the altar and kept her off. <laughs> no, you're someone else that looks like me. <laughs> Fucking little asshole. Yeah. I saved her in the dream. Held her above the altar, and every time she was being sucked back in, in the Hotel California, you're not her, you fucking moron. No, nah, that's not that lady and shit like that, no, too. No, the best revenge is, is better when it's like, yeah, you like, you, you're too sick and sadistic. Now, you don't want to sleep with all those women that like you. You want to sleep with a woman that likes me. You're, that's just not sadistic enough. I know how you fucking work. <laughs> okay. Hi, Antoine. Fucking little prick. And you're, some, you're just an average dude that looks a lot like me. Uh-huh. And then, boom, boom, here he comes. Yeah, he had some plastic. You got all the money in the world. You got more money than Davy Crockett. You just go in there, boom, it's just... He may not be you, but he looks just like you. Okay, Maxine, <laughs> fucking bitch. Now you act like a chick. That's a you're not a chick. You act like a chick, but you wanted to. Yeah, you fucking, you're not Jennifer Lopez. You fucking little prick. God, you're an idiot. <laughs> no, that just wouldn't be good enough. Besides, <laughs> well, you know, Antoine, if you really like having sex with me, um, go fuck yourself since you want to be me. <laughs> That was good. We got those point. Thanks, bro. I got that this morning with a lot of... Yeah, it was weird. That was a weird dream. It was these... Uh, oh, it was these Jewish women. Okay, that's it. Okay, cool. 
Yeah, and it was sad. Yeah, they all wanted to marry me. And I was going to marry, I wanted to marry someone else. And she's not Jewish, you know. Like, well, technically, I guess, it's, we're all Jewish. No, and they were all just getting real mad at me because I'm supposed to marry this a Jewish girl, you know. And I'm like, but wait, no. It's not, it, it, yeah, it was all the elitist stuff. Thanks, Brad. God, Brad was helping me through. He's like, no, you don't understand, man. <laughs> Your brother-in-law is an elitist like Hitler. Yeah. And your dad is bought into these groups too. He's trying not to, but he's like, he can believe that you're a descendant from King David, but you're not similar to, you're similar to David, but you're not similar to Jesus. But the whole New Testament is about, is about Jesus proving to him that he's similar to David. He's a human being who shows us God and shows us God in everybody. And you try to tell him that, and he tells you, no, just Jesus is God and none of the rest of us are. Because God's omnipotent and omnipresent. So how can Jesus be God in totality and none of the rest of us be God? That's irrational. That's just crazy. That's Hitler school. That shit needs to stop. You need to help him. I'm trying to help him, Brad. He doesn't listen to me. Well, you think he'll listen to you? <laughs> well, that, yeah, it's not. It's, that's the hard part. He's like sitting there going, man, you guys are like crazy. And it's hard to fix you because it's like, you're not going to believe him until Brad Pitt comes up and tells you, yes, he's right. <laughs> Why? Because I'm Brad Pitt and I'm special. George Clooney says, Ralph is right. <laughs> you don't need George Clooney. You don't need any of these MOOC scientists that sell you books and have degrees and shit like that to come up and tell you Ralph's right about what's happening. You guys all know it, but no one's getting up to do a damn thing about it because you guys have all been conditioned to be a bunch of bought and sold, listen to your TV, do what you're supposed to do, line up, kill the planet, buy some Christmas presents, go fuck some Iranians and Iraqis. Yeah, fuck them. You're fucking them and feeding them beans and burying them in mass graves. Go fuck everybody who's not like you. Feed them beans, bury them in a mass grave, and take all the resources out of the planet where they are and bring them to where you are, burn them up, and create more bullshit for everybody else. You've turned into the biggest maniacal consumer assholes on the fucking planet. And then you have the balls to sit around and talk about how bad all these people are because they don't like getting fucked, fed beans, and buried in mass graves. That's just sick, man. Thanks, dude. God, I like it when pig goes off. <laughs> well, he analyzes his well. He connects to me. He pray connects. And... His Achilles wanted to have connect with Leonidas, Hitler, Jesus, Spartacus. Wow, we're badasses. <laughs> Sorry. We're badasses. <laughs> just just in case you guys are wondering. We've been I knew that. David told me that in, in the Sierra Vista. I was all proud of myself, you know. I haven't killed anybody. I haven't killed another human being. I'm so proud of myself. I'm just so skippity dippity dippity doo da doo. I'm just the best guy that ever lived. David goes, Look down at your hands. What? Those are hands of a killer. How many of you killed? And this algorithm goes more than you've ever wanted or ever imagined. Those, quote, holy crusades were bloody and, oh, God. Those are the hands of the same man that led those armies. Spartacus, Leonidas, killed, shut up, guys. You're a killer, Ralph. But I'm not a murderer. And I haven't killed anybody in this life. I haven't had to. Then praise Jehovah, but don't praise yourself, you little fuck. God, they're mean. <laughs> That's you, dude. Oh, oh. God, I'm mean. <laughs> I'm sorry. God, sure. Okay. So it was by true fellowship. Brad's the same way. I mean, we've gone through people historically like hot knives through butter. <laughs> he can do that shit real well because he's been pretty good at it for a long, long time. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty slick. He's pretty fast. He's a good fighter. <laughs> he's not just acting. <laughs> You can't just act and look like you're doing shit and not really pull it off and start to do it. Yeah. Go pick a fight with Jackie Chan. <laughs> Fuck. Pick a fight with Bruce Lee. <laughs> See how you do. <laughs> or an equivalent thereof. <laughs> Hi, Jet Lee. You're just an actor. <laughs> Stop it. Dwayne Rock Johnson. You're just an actor. And all those WWE guys are just actors. <laughs> They are, but it's because if we really beat the shit out of each other, we'd be out of commission for six months and we wouldn't be able to entertain your asses. That's why we do it the way we do it. If we really did what we do to one another, we could really kill one another. Do you guys want to see us kill one another for your fucking entertainment, or would you rather have us entertain you? It's all that. It's, it's real. We're putting on a show for you, and we love you. But we're not going to kill each other for your, so you can exchange paper and have a good time and buy merchandise and destroy our planet anymore. Show up, and we'll put the show on. But don't buy my toy. Come and shake my hand. Let me hug the baby. Let me hug you. Especially hug the baby. 
Babies are fun to hug. Rock likes to hug babies. Kenny, it's all right. He's not weird. No. He, he likes babies. <laughs> I like babies, too. Is it all right if you can hold your baby? <laughs> Please let him hold your baby. <laughs> He's not a scary man. No, babies don't think so either. Babies like rock. Because <laughs> he's really calm and he's got a good demeanor about him. And babies really like him. He tells me, I hardly ever make babies cry. Michelle Obama will make your baby cry and scream, but not him. <laughs> we had to, Michelle. Oh, come on. You know you you had it coming. You, how many times have you set me up and let me have it with the Lopez girl and everybody else? You guys have gotten me so many times, it's just not even funny. And I know you're a big, big, big part of it, Mrs. Obama. I love you so much. You're such a brat. I can't wait to hug you. No, I can't stay mad at you. No, you're just so smart. <laughs> God, Michelle, I love you. I can't wait to see you. You just keep my boy well sexed. <laughs> okay. And you raise my girls to be those beautiful girls I know they are. And, uh, yeah, I agree. Martin Gates' kids are the cute, some of the cutest kids on the entire planet. <laughs> Daddy's brown, mommy's peach, and they're tan. <laughs> if you think they're cute, you would have loved little Patrick. <laughs> the guy's cute. <laughs> and I sit there and tell you that, too. You're black. Well, actually, mommy's peach, and daddy's brown, and I'm tan. <laughs> it's just the way it goes. Why? Because that's the way love goes. That's the way love goes, right? <laughs> like to really jump. Yeah, it's just like that. So you like that. <laughs> Don't be a boom fool. We kept telling you, don't do this. No, we're going to get away with it. Knock it off. We're going to get away with it. I know you always do. Same old story has been told before. Same old conclusion keeps knocking at my door. Da -na 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 I kept telling you the whole time I'm the wealthiest man in the whole world. You wouldn't want to hang out with me. I want to hang out with me. Maxie, is it fun to hang out with me when I'm not being a complete boy? Now, you've been talking to, tell Clooney. You, you don't hang out with Clooney. Knock it off. No, oh, you shut up. Pato, tell him. All right. Roger. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Pato and Ralphie, come again. Come again. Hey, Pato. Yes, Ralphie. Let me tell you something. We get this one designed to get the people jumping. Oh, yes, I <laughs> I have to agree. Let's get down to business immediately. Okay, guys. <laughs> Why? Because we got to jump around. Don't I look like I would hang out with those guys? Don't you think I fit the part? I came to get down. I came to get down. <laughs> jump around. <laughs> jump up. Jump up. Jump around. Don't you think I'd fit in real well? The streets of Boston, hanging out with all the guys from House of Pain. <laughs> Bringing the pain. We love Boston. Massachusetts, too. Please come to Boston. I can't. I ain't got no money. You don't need money. All you have is you got to have friends. Thanks, Eddie Murphy. Thanks, Martin Lawrence, for the whole bad boy vibe thing this morning. I know you waited a long time for this. I know it's been hard, baby boy. I love you, too. I can't wait to joke with you. <laughs> no, seriously. Shanene. <laughs> okay. I love you, too, Shanene. No, you, you are sexy as Shanene. As a matter of fact, when you are dressed up as Shanene, I forget all about Gina and Pam and even Jennifer Lopez. You are that hot. You're hotter than Geraldine ever thought of being. No, I'm sorry. Man. Yeah, it's true. Girl, you know it's true. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love you. I'm so in love, girl. And this is true. <laughs> ba, 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 baby. Don't forget my number. I ain't got no minutes on the phone. You heard me? I got like a little bit. I can't, you can't call me. Talk to me. Oh, come on, Shanene. Come back. Talk to me. Oh, no. Don't tell me. Does <laughs> dude look like a lady? Oh, no. Oh, Steve, man, why'd you tell me? You knew it was Martin Lawrence. I thought it was his sister, man. Shanene. It's really you in clothes, man. Oh, you broke my heart, man. No, seriously, man. That's messed up. No, I ain't buying that shit. Why? Because you are all her friends and they're playing a joke on you and stuff like that. And Antoine, she's got better friends than Antoine LaVey does. Well, because the way they were setting up, he was going to be me and then he was going to be balling her. That's just evil. He likes that. He likes being deceitful. It makes him feel good. Now, if he did it with another girl that he did the deceit with, it wouldn't be quite yummy enough. Fucking Jesus' girl. Oh. Oh, if 
you're a complete dick. This is called come on. You're a complete fucking asshole. What's better than taking his place and fucking his girl? Yeah. Hey, Hamlet. Get up and do something about it. We both really like Shakespeare. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Steve. I love you, too. Yes, my son still has a bigger Johnson. <laughs> I've got a bigger Johnson. He's right behind you. Hit him. Hit Tyler. Yeah, you can hit Tyler. Oh, yeah. Both sides. It hurts the donut at him. Both of you. Van, it hurts the donut, Tyler. Yeah. Get him. <laughs> you guys too, man. All right. We'll do another one. All right. Blessings and peace.